Oh, this one is a prolific grower. This is Echeveria Acacia Pons. But I haven't had any babies yet. Now, so now I might have to break off. I'm just waiting for them to grow a little bit longer so you can see the stem extending out. So I will get some babies from here, but I thought it's just a pity to break it off. And I'm trying to grow it so that it forms a big bouquet. And that little corner there is still empty, so I need that to fill up. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. This is a big bouquet of acacia ponds with, I reckon, hundreds of pups uh, through them. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six clusters on the side. And then the center is just, oh, look at that, all those babies. It's like hundreds of them. But anyway, I need to separate them. And this one is a very, very hardy uh, Echeveria or Echeveria or Echeveria. Uh, acacia ponds and it has been grown or I have been growing it outside in the front yard and it has seen two nearly minus 10 winters so degree Celsius so it's a very very hardy plant and I've had it growing at the front yeah and then I moved it into the back here where all the spot here that was like four pots I put in there now I removed them because the glajola has uh, starting to pop out so I have to make way for them give them room and I'm redoing my garden anyway so anyway now I'm gonna hack into this and separate them but I just have to wait for that little bee to finish and what I'm going to do is first of all I am going to remove all the flowers that is terrible because they'll just make a mess so remove all the flowers just break them off it's fine and so now I'm gonna have a look see that one is just loose see if I could twist it and pull out hang on I'll just see I'm gonna feel it underneath if I can grab hold of, I'm going to have to kill one pup or something. But anyway, I'm going to pull, see if I can pull it. Oops, no I can't. So, we're going to have to cut. i got my cicatrice. And I'm going to go under just a stem. There you go, done. Okay, so that's one down. Look at that, it's already like trying to root up. See the roots there sticking out? So normally what I do is clean that up and I could remove individual pups like this. Put it in my container here. And those two. So that will grow into a new plant or one plant. And put that there. So this is the best way to propagate this. Is just uh, instead of growing the leaves, which takes quite a long time. It's much better uh, to, for me anyway, just harvest the pups. Now that one, that looks so gorgeous, isn't it? Like the one, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that, in just on the side. Just so gorgeous. But anyway, we're going to have to remove it. But what I'm going to do is I'm still going to leave the one plant and I'm going to take off in between. So I'll take that one off. Mm, okay. Now the leaves I could save to grow another baby but it's just too tedious so I'm just gonna chuck it in the bin I'm much rather with the grown plant so again that one there I'll save that one so every second one oopsie shake shake okay now you go I pull it out 
one two three and take that one off there you go so now you got three when I plant that that will straighten out and then that will be another plant so a couple more cleaning up and then she's ready to be potted not quite I still have to leave this for a while and let them dry up first but anyway see look at that oh that's just unreal look at that so many babies okay I'm gonna pull some out like that one from under and I'm gonna have two and there's more babies underneath look at that it's just crazy that's just crazy look at that can you see it so I'm gonna have to pull that out as well come on oopsie hit the camera doesn't matter so another baby so this is a flower stem which is unsightly and I don't like looking at it so what I like to do is get my little surgical forcep and just twist it and there you go so now that looks much better and this one I've got one two and three so you can see that so three pups I'm going to leave it like that and then that other one has got one two three but on the side I've not finished hacking into this acacia pond and so this is what I've got look how much there is so those ones I still left them as big clusters with a couple of pups say so one two three four five so that would still look nice if I put that in a big pot arrange it and once it grows it will thicken up again that would actually look lovely so there's quite a few of them that are like that so I got one and six so I got six big ones with different configurations and so now I'm just curious as to how much uh, of the small ones I've got there so I'm just gonna count it for curiosity's sake because I've had this plant for two years now and I only started with one plant from one plant I got eight the first year and I separated them and uh, put them all over the place or well in the pot but then it formed into clusters and so now I'm gonna count how many of these small ones I've got so one two three four four six seven eight nine eighty babies but this one's 13 of them i'm just gonna leave that there and i'm gonna refresh the pot and plant some of the small ones back in there mm -hmm. 